Previously, six housemates fear eviction. Everyone who's been in there, bad things have happened. That is so true. It isn't worth the luxury. Three housemates think they're safe. We chose Dan. Cheers. But one will go. I smell a storm brewing. And the public showed their true feelings. Big Brother asked the viewers, which housemates did you say is manipulating the situations? It's Gina then. Me? Yeah. Oh. Me? That's pretty nasty. Hazel received the most votes for oh. being the biggest snake. Well, can someone explain why I'm a snake? <laughs> Tonight... Big Brother turns up the heat. <laughs> the best task ever. <laughs> Free fire! If it was me, everyone would be laughing and thinking that I deserve it. I think you and I are the most hated of the series. I don't think you're doing anything in malice. I just think it's just part of your I, character. I, you've really wound up today, aren't you? I want to go now. That serves as a fucking lesson. You know what I mean? <laughs> he was being a snake. Maybe we're not that safe in that safe house, but it's crossed my mind that that might be a lie. I don't think Friday is going to be how everyone expects it to go. A few invincible. Dear 42929 AM, it's the second day of this week's shopping task. Yesterday, housemates became contestants on Big Brother's Right Answer Game Show. <laughs> it's hello. Shane from Westlife. He goes, he goes hello. To accumulate money towards their shopping budget, they must guess the answers to a series of questions, some of which are based on an online viewer survey. Which housemates did you say is manipulating the situations so that people turn against you? Can someone explain why I'm a snake? Anyone? <laughs> The more money they raise, the more they'll have to play for in the final climatic endgame later. And now it's time for the first round of the day. Here's your host, Big Brother. We're into the second day of the game show now on the home straight and headed towards the big finale. Yesterday, our charming contestants managed to add a fantastic £500 to the totaliser. So say hello to our lucky contestants. They might look a bit sleepy at the minute, but Big Brother's got a surefire way to wake them up. It's our first question of the day. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Listen carefully, here's the question. Big Brother asked the viewers which housemate they would most like to see get gunged first thing in the morning. So the question is, which housemates did they choose? For £50, it's time to gunge the answer. Oh, I think it'll be it's Gina. Mm. I think Hazel. They have been speaking on Hazel a bit, so I think Hazel. Bless her. Who should we do? I think Sophie, but she thinks Gina. I think Gina or Hazel. Who think Hazel? Well, Gina or Hazel. You can't decide. Well, the general consensus is Hazel. Yeah. Hazel, what do you reckon? Well, we know what this is about, so I will put my gun on. Lucky <laughs> now, Hazel, you're a soldier. Right? Didn't season. they ask the public which housemate would most like to be done? No, who they would like. Nice friend for us, isn't she? Well played, Hazel. Love you, Hazel. Love you, Hazel. Is it full? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like full, like, full. Like double what there was yesterday. <laughs> Hazel, the housemates have decided that you are the housemate the viewers would most like to see get gunged first thing in the morning. Well, there's only one way to find out if you're the right answer. Tell really. This is there. Hazel, Big Brother can confirm that you are the right answer. Yeah. Prize, prize. Where's the towel? There. Careful. Well done, Hazel. Well done, well done Hazel. Hazel.
What's that? Nothing. Is it because we said it might be you? No, it's just annoying because everyone keeps saying, oh, I feel so sorry for Hazel, I feel so sorry for her. But if it was me, everyone would be laughing and thinking that I deserve it. Do you get what I'm saying? So that's quite annoying. Is anybody starting to think this shopping task is about me? Yeah. Bring it on, bitches! <laughs> Ten twenty six AM Callum's strip tease last night has left a lasting impression on some of the housemates. That strip tease was so funny but quite disturbing. It wasn't quite disturbing, very. <laughs> my eyes have never burnt so much in my this life. Facial expression in fact. <laughs> Dan, I promise you, you didn't see this bin thrust in front of your face like that all the time. In a oh, oh. Hazel's feeling insecure. You did want loads of, you did want this for work and exposure, and that's what you're, you're getting. Well, no, what I did wasn't for work exposure. I wanted to come in and make an impact and not make it. No, no, no. Of, yeah, 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 no, completely. You, you've background. achieved that. Yeah, you've yeah, achieved yeah. That, but what I mean is, definitely. even though they probably think this is pissing you off, <coughs> at least. Oh, it was, yes. Yeah, when I woke up this morning, I was yeah. a different perspective. They want to change the channel every time they see me. But yet they want me to do everything to watch me there. Completely contradicts it. Contradicts. Completely. You're smashing it out of the park. You've already proved after six and a half weeks you're more than just yeah. face. Oh, thank you. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Thanks. Hundred percent. As part of the shop and task, whenever Sophie hears a special jingle, she must answer a tricky riddle. <laughs> it's Sophie's uh. tricky riddle. It's riddle time again, Sophie. Listen carefully, here comes the riddle. What flies around all day but never goes anywhere? Oh, the clouds? Do you the clouds? The clouds! The correct answer was a flag. Oh, uh... A what? It was a flag. Oh. Mm. Fuck am I supposed to get that? Thick as shit. Oops. Back in the garden, Callum remains the hot topic of conversation. I just can't work him out. <laughs> Neither can I. That, that's, that's what pisses me off. Sorry, but if he really thought that was going to affect his career, he wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't have done it if I thought it was going to jeopardise my future for the sake of 100 quid in a week shopping. I don't know, I just find it odd. I just find, it, I just, I just find something odd about him. I don't know what it is. Exactly. No, he is odd. He is odd. Mm. He is odd. That's why, that's why we don't get on. I mean, I don't mind odd people, but... Well, that's why I haven't really bonded with him at all. Like, because yeah. I find him a bit strange. He's not my the kind of person that I'd hang out with mm. at all. At all. I mean, fair, you know, like, fair play to him what he did, but I did find it a little bit... Oh, yeah, absolutely. You've got to give him credit for doing it. Yeah. Um, but it's... Yeah, he's... <laughs> but it, at some points was a little bit weird. It was weird at points. You know what I mean? Like, I, yeah. I just looked at it and it was like, ooh, creep, creepy weird. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, like, like, like creep, creepy, creepy Yeah, no, weird. I agree. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Coming up, Dan's on fire. <laughs> oh. And Charlie drops a rhyme. Dexter Coke, you ain't got no flow. You call yourself a sugar baby, but that I just don't know. <laughs> Eleven forty two AM It's time for the next round of Big Brothers Game Show. The right answer. This one's called Eat the Answer, and up to face his question is Dan. Your question is this. If nominations were chilies, how many chilies would you have received in total? Is the answer three chilies? Four chilies. 
or five chillies? Well, it depends. I don't know. Who thinks it's three and who thinks I it's four? I reckon it, it possibly four. I reckon you, you should go for four. Five, actually, four. I've got a feeling it's four. Go with your gut. Four, then. Smart. I'm going to say four. So go that. with that. Four. Oh, go with your gut. Where have your guts? Do it. Dan, for 100 pounds, you should eat the answer. I'd rather eat the pig's trotter than eat four chillies. Dan, mind over matter. Just get think down. of it. Do it as yeah. fast as you can, because the yeah. slower get you do it, it, the worse yeah. you'll yeah. suffer. Quick, quick as you can, Dan. Basically. You'll suffer more. Keep the meat in Otherwise, your mouth will burn. I've actually done this with my brother. Yeah, they're one of the strongest ones available in the UK. I've seen on the internet some boy doing it, and he was shaking and sick and everything. Dan, right. unless you chew it, try to swallow it now. I'd eat. Take a Take a sip. Take a sip. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! You are such a sport. You can do this. I don't feel good. Oh, I need one. Good boy, Dan. You're doing well. You're doing well. Go on, Dan, boy. Well done, Dan. The size of that. Oh shit! Don't think about it. Don't oh, yeah. think about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> drink, drink, drink your milk. Drink your milk. Drink your milk. <laughs> drink your milk. <laughs> It's got on your eye. Pleasant. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Just it worse and worse. Good oh, grief! I think it's cute. Oh, oh. Fucking hurts, Go on, Dan. Go on, Dan. Put your mind on the Go on, Go on, Dan. Go on. Go on, Dan. Go on. 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 Go Milk, 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 milk. Let me pour it because you don't, you can't touch it. <laughs> 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 I'm scared. Quickly pour him some. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. This might want to be a bit Dan should take position by the Eat Me Answer station. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, this lasts for about 30 minutes. Oh, yeah, easy. Dan, Dan, the big brother asked if nominations were chilies, how many chilies would you have received it's in total? Be it's be you chose to eat four chilies, meaning oh, that you think you have received right. four nominations. Please be right. Dan, big brother can now reveal that this was the right answer. Yeah! Got a shopping budget and a half. Still going as well. But that, yeah, yeah, it's true. Oh, that'd be That's amazing, true. wouldn't it? That's true. Amazing. Lots of cigarettes. Right, you're right, Dan. I'd be going to have a bad belly. Yeah, you are. I have a bad belly anyway, but no one can moan at me today if I fart. This is the best task ever. <laughs> <laughs>Here's us talking to Dexter about her reasons for coming into the house. Well, I wanted to come in here and have some form of an impact and not walk out the door You've unscathed and untouched You've and unmentioned. It. It. So if people are going onto a website, whether it is real or it isn't, and clicking my name for all of them, it means they're thinking about me at least, or at least I'm in the picture. And I came here for one reason and then end up being here on a personal journey, which is totally the fucking opposite reason. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just came in here to see if I could hack it. Mm. Come to think of it, I haven't a clue why I came in here. <laughs> why is everything more interesting when there's someone that interests you? Isn't it? And then when that dies off, it's kind of like, mm. People. Yeah. People. It just makes me laugh, because people, people just think they've got it all sewn up, and they're, yeah, no. they're like... They're going to get blown out of it. Yeah, and they know like 100% what what it's all about and what people are about. When in reality, 
I've got no fucking clue. Yeah. Do you think you and I are the most hated of the series? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> but then again, I'm still fucking here. I don't even yeah, know how. That's true. I don't even know how, like, how I'm managing it. But people do, and they can. Yeah, because if you poke yourself above the... poke, poke your head above the fence, then... Gonna get hit. <laughs> exactly. That's why I don't, I don't think Friday is going to be how everyone expects it to go. Ah. I don't. Two thirty one PM. Hazel is keeping <laughs> Dan company as he cools down in the pool. So if you go Friday. Yeah. What do you do at the weekend? Hide. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> you have to hide anywhere. Yeah. I'm, I, I am a strong person. I'm used to this. I've been doing this for years, so... It's just because you can't escape it and I'm waiting for the next thing to happen. That's the only reason today I'm a bit, like... Because I'm just waiting for the next nasty thing. Charlie has been called to the diary room for the next part of the task. Oh Charlie, Big Brother has heard that you occasionally enjoy dropping a few dope rhymes. Is that the case? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Well, Charlie... Big Brother wanted to put your rap freestyling skills to the test. So Big Brother asked the viewers which housemate they would most like you to perform a rap about. Which housemate do you think the viewers would like to see you perform a rap about, Charlie? Oh, I don't know, but I can't freestyle. I'm not a freestyler. I reckon they'd want me to do it to Dexter, just for a laugh. Charlie, you've chosen to write a rap about Dexter. <laughs> you got a pen and paper. <laughs> Is that right? Charlie, Big Brother thinks you look dope. Thanks, man. While Charlie prepares her rap, Big Brother has gathered housemates for her performance. It's time to bust her rhyme. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Get the music. Oh. Playboy, you're a true don, your plate's got food on Leave the girls around you, she gets moved on Much improved on, some say you're too strong Some say you lost your mind, but it's screwed on Dexter Cole, you ain't got no flow You call yourself a sugar baby, that I just don't know Always up for nomination, say five times by the nation The ego's rising quicker than the UK's rate of inflation In the safe house, watching like spies Weaving a web of secrets and lies Streaking round the garden, cupping your bits Had all the other housemates in laughing fits Making four girls cry, could have got you a smack And by the way, Dex, your dress sense is whack Those are just some things that I thought you should know About the wonderful man called Dexter Cole This Literally, is so Big Brother. Charlie, you thought that the viewers wanted to see you rap about Dexter. Big Brother can now reveal that that was the right answer. Yay! Yay! That was so cool. That was cool. What is it? Little gangster. I have not done a rap for like years, but obviously it's a joke rap. It's not how I'd rap. We smashed it. Coming up, Dexter turns on the charm. Do we get a kiss on the cheek tonight? Yeah. yeah. I can have some cheek. And housemates face their final challenge. Two housemates are in the correct position. Oh my. Four forty-six p.m. Dan is still feeling the effects of his chili eating task earlier. Oh. Sophie's rears and Hazel's spirits. Most of my boyfriend's mates probably really fancy you. 
Really? I can, Im I can imagine them when I get out, saying, Ah, oh, Soph, Soph, you know her, can't you hook me up? Oh. Yeah. Unless no, they hate me too. <laughs> what? Unless they hate me too. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't know, maybe like, you know, what, uh, what they've shown on TV, but I can't see what they've shown. What well, they've shown yeah, has been nothing yeah. horrible to show. Oh, I can't wait to watch it. Watch no, me too. The, I the can't wait to watch it. Yeah. I'm just going to sit in with my boyfriend and my yeah. sisters and my mum and do everything else. Watch come and just watch yeah. them. I want to see what the hell went wrong with me. Or why, why I'm such a snake and why I'm such a bitch. I don't and... understand why you get... You don't even know this is the viewers. That's the thing. I wouldn't worry about it. I don't want it to ruin your last two days here. Because silly... Stuff. Callum is in the treehouse. It's Dexter's turn to face a big question for this week's shop and task. Dexter, would you say you know more than the average person about the noble art of seduction? I would probably say I know it a little bit, yes. That's good, because Big Brother asked the viewers which housemates they think should be your sugar baby. Oh, for God's sake. Just giving an answer would be too easy. So for this question, you must seduce the answer. Big Brother has supplied you with everything you'll need. I don't like this task. Dexter, Big Brother suggests you follow your heart. In that case, then, I'm going to have to go with Charlie. My God, what oh, my. Oh, are you You've taking... You've got to give it to someone, ain't you? Dan, did you choose Dan? Charlie? Oh, he's obviously oh, chose Charlie. Hazel, I reckon he's chose. <laughs> I'm just following you because I'm, I'm intrigued. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, dear. Open your eyes. You need to come with me upstairs. Uh, be a bit more romantic, please. Come my dear. Me? Uh, well, come with me upstairs. Are you, are you Calum joking? Calum is upstairs. Calum is up there. Oh, is it? Oh. What's the task? Who's coming upstairs? Dexter and Charlie. Oh, I want roses. I don't want How do you know there's roses? Oh. You're going to have to go, Callum, unfortunately. Huh? Oh. Sorry, Cal. I've just been dragged up there. I don't know why. Here's a few. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, fast. That's the first time I've been up to the fucking mm. treehouse in ages. That made my day. <laughs> I reckon I know what the question was. Why? I think the question was, Dexter, the, who do you think the public would choose to make jealous. Callum most jealous? Oh, yeah. I hope I got this right. I, do you guessed it was me, did you? Oh, it might be someone else. I got you the finest chocolates from Belgium. Oh, lovely. Thank you. My, oh, my favourite. I didn't want to give you chocolates because it was sweet enough. Have you been told to say cheesy lines as well? Did no. you just say that? All right. I'm looking for a tan, though. I like it. Oh, you've been told to. You've your definitely eye. been told to say cheesy lines. You take your glasses off. Why? Right. It's rude at yeah, dinner, it's isn't rude. it? You told me off for that every week. Yeah. yeah. When I was talking to you, you said that you can't see what I was really thinking because mm. the glasses are in That's true. It's lovely view. It's beautiful. Shut up. Just see it. <laughs> Let me try. I can imagine you on a natural date, pulling off those one-liners. You trying, have you got to seduce me? Do you think... That ain't happening. <laughs> Why not? What the wrong? <laughs> I made you laugh. We had a good time. You got some nice gifts. Um, I just want to say thank you very much for letting me have this date. I hope you enjoyed the flowers and the chocolates. I really did. And, you know, a real, man, a real man doesn't expect anything from a woman, so... Yeah. I just hope that you've had a good time. I had a really nice time. Do I get you a kiss on the cheek tonight? Yeah. yeah. You can have a kiss on the cheek. Thank you. It's 
accomplished. <laughs> As Dexter successfully seduced the correct housemate, he has banked a hundred pounds towards the housemate's total. Dexter, do you neck her? Of course not. You never neck a neck a girl on the first date. Five thirty-two p.m. Sophie's in the diary room talking about the love triangle. Totally bored of it. Everyone is just bored of the fact that nothing's ever going to happen, but it's getting carried on and carried on and carried on. They like her, but nothing's going to happen. Seriously, it's just a load of shit. I just can't be bothered to hear about it anymore. Anyway. Dexter is talking to Hazel about seducing Charlie. I yeah. know, I'm well, quite... Do you, do you think she's into you? I know that I'm quite... Cold. No, I reckon, obviously, there might be a little tiny bit of something there, but she won't admit it on, te on television. Because everybody's made such yeah, a new about it. Yeah, because everyone's made such a big fucking deal, I think. Yeah, you understand yeah. what I mean? Yeah, no, I totally agree with that. But I'm, I'm not stupid, and that's why I realise it, and I take a and I'm taking a step back. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I actually did ask her. I said because, you know, you know, my advice that I gave her is like, you don't want this happening. Shut it down. Which is, you know, me. I'm pretty blunt with things like that. Yeah, but you're, you're, you're a lot more ruthless anyway. Yeah. No, you I know am. What I mean, so. But she wasn't too quick to, uh, and I was. Well, do you, do you have feelings for Dexter? And she was kind of. No, no, no. I'll, sh I'll shut it down. And I was kind of. Like, didn't answer me. Do you know what I mean? I was shocked. I genuinely want nothing yeah. against you personally. It's just because I, you know, where we are in the situation and stuff. Dan's come to speak to Big Brother about Hazel. I don't understand why um, the public feel like they do about her because I think she's brilliant. I think she's beautiful. She's intelligent. She's ambitious. She's driven. She's very savvy. Um, and, I, and she's funny. And I don't know... Don't know why people out there are maybe not not seeing what what I'm seeing and the majority of us are seeing in here. Um, mm, she's she's all right. She's she's a bit wobbly. I think she's she's a bit nervous about leaving on Friday. I mean, she's up for eviction with four five other housemates. So, the, the, looking at the way it is and the way it's been in the last couple of weeks, you know, she's the favourite to go. So she she she's not silly. She knows that. She's said she's okay. Um, she's feeling pretty crappy, as am I, um, at the moment. So we've got that in common, in a sense, but in different ways, yeah, anyway. If she goes on Friday, that would be the best thing for her, in a way, and um, she can get her head around how and why she's been perceived like this. What do you think will happen on Friday? There's a little bit of me that thinks maybe we're not that safe in that safe house, which unnerves me a bit, but I'm not going to dwell on that too much. I have to trust that I'm immune. Um, but I do get it's crossed my mind that that might be a lie, that we're all immune in there. I don't know. Six forty-five p.m. It's time for the final round of Big Brother's Game Show. The right answer. After two years, housemates have raised nine hundred and ten pounds. All of it now rests on the Let's ultimate final Lucky challenge. Housemates must line up in order of who they think viewers want to win Big Brother, from first place to last. When they think they have the right order, they must press the button. The £910 they have raised will count down. The longer they take to crack the order, the less money they'll have for their weekly shopping. Good luck, contestants. The game starts now. Jane, okay. you're first. Jane, you're first. Jane, you're first. Sam and Dan and Sophie all need to be in one. Sophie, Sophie, second. Yeah, Jack, Sophie, Sophie, I think you're second. Dan, Dan, don't you think Sophie's second? Press the button. Press it. Press it. Four housemates are in the correct position. This one, Sophie for Gina. Keep saying second. No, it's no. Jump back in. Let them press the button again. Press the button. Three housemates are in the correct position. Four housemates are in the correct position. I don't see that. 
You never know. Cheers for the confidence, Gina. <laughs> Sorry. Just want to get it right. Five housemates are in the correct position. Right, sound second. Sound second. Quick, quick, quick. Quick, quick, quick. Quick, quick. Done. 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 Two housemates are in the correct position. Oh, 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 you two. Oh, 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 and then two people are showing up. Sweet swap. Sam, go first. Go. Press it. Oh my god, 385. No cigarettes. Six housemates are in the correct position. Right, right. I think we Dexter can come in top four. Do you mean Dexter higher up? No, I, no, I reckon I'm definitely going to be in the bottom four. There is no way I'm up there. Twins swap for me or something. Okay. Okay. Nice Callum and Dexter be done before. Press it. Fuck. Seven housemates are in the correct yeah. position. Oh. Oh. Me and Callum. Oh. What's wrong? Yeah. Yeah. Stay, try, try, stay. We've actually lost the shopping cart. So, I feel like kicking this thing. <laughs> We're going to have to go back to chickpea burgers for some of the days. <laughs> this is, oh, this is unbelievably wrong. I can't tell you, you will not be seven. Don't think the twins Twins won't be up there. No, 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 no. We should have bought Dexter down like one by one. All housemates are in the correct position. Oh, yeah. I'm fucking joking, man. It's Dexter's third. Dexter's third. Eight or six p.m. Callum's not happy that Dexter was third in the viewers' poll to win. Oh, I'll give you an example. It's like in a race of superheroes, Batman, Superman, the Joker, who's not a good guy, but he's up there anyway. You know, Spider-Man and someone else. So it's like having all these heroes up the top of the table, all these superheroes, but just purely on popularity and what people want to see, you, you've got one of the villains of the picture in there as well, above above some of the heroes because they're, they're just such a popular character. So that's where De that's that's why Dex is up there. Fact. Dexter and Sophie are looking ahead to eviction night. Oh, I wonder what's going to happen Friday. Are you excited for Friday? I am excited. I'm not going to lie. Not just really. to see. I hate it. If I hate the public, it. you know, because everyone's going to get. Shown apart from obviously me and Sam, and that's a shame. I really would actually like to no, hear. No, I hate it. I hate it. Getting booed or no, I really want to hear what they think about me. You do not understand. I really, really do. Sophie, you're still here. You've never been up for nomination. No, I know, but that's so... within the house. That's within the house. Do you know what I mean? That's within the house. It does not matter what anyone thinks of you at all. Really right, no, it does because without us putting you up, you wouldn't be up for the yeah, first place. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're doing matter. something yeah, right. Yeah, you know what I mean? It, no, but it, it doesn't matter what people think of you. It really doesn't. Hazel's been up once and she's been booed and blah, blah, whatever. You don't know. That's why I think I'd, I'd like to see what they think of you. Joe and Jack are upset at discovering where they lie in the public's eye. There was no way in hell you could just say, that's our lineup. I know it. Not a chance. I thought it was fifth. I thought it was fifth. But I know we won't win. What annoyed me was Gina. Oh no, it might not be me first. Gina, sit in first. You're first. I mean, no offence. It's not even no offence. Hazel knew where she was and she just stuck to it. Sophie knew roughly where she was. Everyone knew roughly. Everyone knew roughly where they were. But Gina kept on saying, "Let's move." And Gina was. When Gina was like, put the twins further down, put the twins further down, I was thinking, I was thinking, how much further do you want me to bloody go off the podium? <laughs> My confidence has gone from bad to fucking well. Jack, you've, you've really wound up today, aren't you, tonight? I, I'm annoyed now. I, I, I want to go now. No, you don't. We, I said, we I, said we wanted to go on the first day. No, I've said it in my head now, but like, I've stuck with it, I've done. I spoke to Shane from Westlife. I've seen my dad in the Big Brother house. Honestly, I don't think there's much more I can do. But, but if we're seventh, like, it's, I'm not here just... I'm not, I'm not being defeatist at all. No, I'm not, but again, I've been saying all week, if I go, I go, I go. I'm ready, and this just shoved it right in my face again. Coming up, Dexter's in the firing line. Leopard's not changed the spots, he's clever, he's calculated, and he's played it to a T. And here's a once answers. Did you think at the end of your four days that you targeted me? Did you think that at all? It's, I just want to understand that before I leave, so it's not going to matter shit to me once I get out. Okay. 
8 29 pm callum is bitching about dexter it, the, the fact of the matter is for t the first two or three weeks he admits he was being a snake he mm. was being manipulative for me i'm not trying to sway you to for me the new crybaby routine of i'm sensitive i was misunderstood charlie is not going to swing it for me unfortunately because mm. leopards don't change the spots he's clever he's calculated and he's played it to a t but like i said it's just that's just me you want to leave mm. before you no, it's not about no wanting to leave. To leave. No. It's about if it's my time to go, I'll no. go gracefully, prepared, and I'll know what I'm going out to. That's one thing, but wanting mm. to... I don't want to leave under this premise that I'm a snake no. and a bitch and people hate me. I don't see it. I don't know. I, don't, I can't give you an answer because I don't know. No, I, I don't, don't know where it's come from. Oh. Gina is talking to Big Brother about being the viewer's favourite to win. It's shocking that people like me for me because I'm just me and I'm a little bit, I don't know, I don't know. I've always wanted people to like me for me and because I know that I'm a good person and I have a big heart but then people don't see that, they just say oh you know she's got her expensive clothes, she must be materialistic snob or whatever. But then it doesn't mean that I'm a horrible person or anything. So at least if people have seen me inside and seen the inner me, then wow, happy. That's the coolness. Hazel is quizzing Dexter on the public's opinion of her. Do you think Jean and Dexter's thing influenced the public in any way? Like, we're. Who's their favourite? Mm, and then you were like, we hate Hazel, we hate Hazel, let's give her this, let's give her that. So no. I kind of became number one enemy. Yeah, but I've made. I'm made up with you now, we don't have a mm. problem, you know what I mean? We sorted out everything, so... Yeah. I think some isn't, people aren't, isn't aren't that easily swayed. Maybe some people are impressionable and they would sort of listen to that, but people have their minds set up. from there. Like, did you Hazel. think at the end of your four days that you targeted me? Did you think that at all? I do feel that your opinions on that few days has influenced the public. I definitely do. Yeah, I'd agree with that. And I think that you're both sensible enough, intelligent enough to know that by the, the more you did for Hazel, the more that was going to happen. I don't think we, we can tell any of it. We can always speculate on it. I don't think we can know. I'm not blaming you, Dex. I was only asking because like, I, I just want to understand that before I leave because like, it's not going to matter shit to me once I get out. Nine eleven pm I was surprised. Huh? I was surprised. Oh, I'm not. I'm just... Low by Dexter. That's what I mean, I'm just... And the twins. He's gonna end up... Winning it. I know. Winning it. He's the one guy I don't know. Win it. I know, you know. It's funny, cos he said to Hazel on the first day, I, can, I know I can win this. Mm-hmm. Cunning is the word. It makes you feel a bit shit, doesn't it? Mm. You will get the bollocks now. Huh? You will get the bollocks now. Oh, no, it's, it's going to get worse now. I know. Gina and Dexter are reflecting on the task. Like I said, the whole point of that task was to see how people react and where they place themselves. Yeah. And where they place others. It wasn't yeah. to do with the talk afterwards. Because, you know, the twins, they really didn't like being down. And I said, I said, Dexter, you switch with them. And they were like, no, Gina. They were like, thanks for luring our confidence. And then I was like, no, I'm, I, I, don't, I don't mind being last or swapping with Hazel. I don't mind being last. It's yeah. just a game. Everyone was saying, oh, yeah, yeah, Dex has swapped with Hazel. Okay, fair enough. Why? You know what I mean? At the end of the day, it's a fucking task. It isn't it's a, a task. fucking. You know what I mean? It's the, I ain't going to bring tears, so tears emotional. to my eyes. You lot put me up for eviction every fucking week. Why the fuck am I going to get upset for, for being ninth, ninth in the fucking queue? I wouldn't care. I'd laugh. I'd be like, yeah, cool. Fair play to fucking Hazel. She didn't even fucking move. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? I can't, you know, like. Um, you can't, you can't knock her because there was no arrogance there. Yeah. Nothing. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, she saw herself in a certain position and she stayed in that position. Mm. Other people are a bit more arrogant. As much as I love the twins and stuff like that, at the end of the day, they were the ones going, oh, yeah, why should we give that dog a bone? I wanted him out last week and now, and now he's still here and stuff like that. You know what I mean? That serves them a fucking lesson. You know what I mean? <laughs> at the end of the day, if it's true or not, you know, for them to become stronger and better people, an understanding of different people's cultures, beliefs, opinions, characters and stuff like that, so true. at fucking 18 to 19 years old, then they fucking deserve it. Yeah. Absolutely.
Absolutely. Oh, Jesus. Gina? What was that about? Huh? Huh? Hmm? What are you talking about? I don't know. I'm in a weird mood. There's custard in there, have you? No, thank you. Are you doing a DC? No. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. We're in a OC. Open conversation? Yeah. Anyone can join in if they've got the fucking minerals. Twelve fifty AM. Sophie and Dan are sleeping. Callum, Gina, and Dexter are talking about Dan. Yeah. Do you think he was higher then, or lower? Or yeah. Or? No. He obviously thought he was higher, and because he put really? yeah, because he's put the most on the line, really, because he's he he, has, because, because, because he's, he's given up a white collar job. Yeah, yeah. To come in here to pursue a career in the entertainment industry. Yeah. So for him coming fifth over me. Especially mm, under you, behind you. Yeah, behind me would be a kick in the face to to him. He sacrificed a lot to sort of come yeah. in here, mm. so he has to believe in his head that he can win the show, and then for him to be ranked not within it the final. It might not even be true mm. anyway. You just yeah. don't know. Yeah, n not not to be in, not to be in the final four is probably probably taking the wind out of his sails, mm. and that's that's kind of like yeah. what, what I said, you know. Well, he'll be around for a bit longer, at least another week. Sam's on cloud nine in the daily room after coming second in the viewers' pool to win. You know, for me, I take a massive compliment, but, uh, you know, I don't want to read into it. Like, I, I don't know, like, believe it's true enough, because I like to see things when it's done. But uh, it's, like, it's nice to have a feeling that you were second. And how do you think your fellow housemates felt about the positions they were in? Dexter was surprised. Uh, the twins are disappointed, I think, deep down. Uh, Callum disappointed deep down. Uh, Hazel, I don't think, you know, from the... from what's happened so far this week, like, she's not surprised. I don't I think people are reading into it too much. Like, for example, Callum thinks he's going to go on Friday because he was, was he second from last. You said everyone was feeling on edge about Friday. How does it feel to be immune? Amazing. No words can describe, like, how relaxing that feels. Because the longer I stay here, the better. And this week, like, considering three people are saved, which is me, Sophie and Dan, I feel invincible. <laughs> this week, Dan, Sam, and Sophie face the public vote. Who do you want to see leave the house? Remember, you're voting to evict. To evict Dan from a landline call 090 20 50 58 or 4 or from a mobile 6 50 58 or 4. To evict Sam. From a landline call 090 20 50 58 12 or from a mobile 6 50 58 12. To evict Sophie from a landline call 090 20 50 58 13 or from a mobile 6 50 58 13. Mobile and BT landline votes cost 35p. Other landlines may vary. Voting closes in Friday's eviction show. For full terms, go to channel5.com slash bbvote. Stay with us for Big Brother's Bit on the Side, where Emma will be taking a look at all the latest goings-on with Tina Malone, Wolfie and Anna Williamson.